how to create forms and surveys on Typeform. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you how you can create forms and surveys of your own with Typeform for free in 2021. So let's get started. First you have to do is just go to typeform.com and this is where you will land. I'm going to simply sign up with my Google account and once I do that, I would just have to log in. Typeform actually allows you to create these amazing surveys and forms of your own if you have a company or if you are you know looking for surveys to do surveys then you can definitely avail Typeform. So I have signed up with my Google account and this is where I have landed. Here we can actually create different surveys and we will be creating one. So I'm just going to click on new Typeform right here. Once you click on new Typeform here we will be actually you know creating our survey so these are different templates that typeform has for us and you can see right here that i can select from all of these amazing templates that typeform has provided or i can just simply go ahead and start from the scratch or I can import a form that I have already created. So for now, I'm going to go with a template and we will be working on that. Let's go with this template right here, which is the market research survey template. And I will be doing a market research survey template. Now you can see that this is a question survey and it has 18 questions and the time to answer is one to three minutes. It looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this template you can see this is how it looks and i will be customizing this one so i'm going to use this template right here once i click on use this template now they're preparing my template for me where i will create my market research survey so now i have to give it a name and i'm going to just you know keep it this one or i'm going to call it market research new survey okay and what are you creating so i'm going to select the type of form that i am creating you can actually select any of the forms that you want to for example a research survey request form registration form a quiz poll payment form order form lead gen form feedback form contact form checklist application form and other so you can see right here that type form actually gives you um, a lot of you know forms to choose from and i'm gonna go ahead and select the research survey one and i'm gonna click on continue now i can just go ahead and take a look on the template once again but i'm gonna just click on no thanks for now so this is where the work happens this is the editing section where you actually edit your survey so you can see right here that this is the section one and it has five questions and then we will move on to section two and in total it has 18 questions as we saw then there is ending option where i can actually customize the ending if i want to add any content to my form i can click on content right here and add it as well then there is question option where i will be checking out all of the questions their layout if i want to add any image if i want to add any buttons if i want to you know change the time settings i will be doing that all here then there is a design option where i can actually you know change the design of the question then there is a logic option where you can actually customize if you want to you know go ahead and you know add the logics behind your question as well there is a create option where we are right now then there will be connect and then we will go to share and then results so this was the overview so let's get started with the editing now you can see this is the first page for my survey and i'm gonna edit it right here the text right here i'm not gonna go with this text of course so i'm gonna edit this right here so i can just actually you know edit this text actually this is not a text i don't know why but they have added this image so i'm gonna remove this image right here and i'm gonna click on remove you can see that that logo image has been removed now i want to add my own image so i'm going to click on add right here and i can actually upload the image or go to media gallery where i can actually find these amazing images of my own so it's a research survey so i'm going to go ahead and you know add a good image an attractive image for my survey let's go with this one so you can see right here that this is the image that i have selected but it's looking 
super random so i'm just gonna you know delete it right here so this is the first page that we have you can see this is the welcome screen for my survey so i want it to be a long text right here so i'm gonna add that right here if i want to you know change the first screen the layout of this page i can just add it to the multiple choice then i can add different multiple choices right here if i want it to be a statement if i want to a picture choice then i can just simply click right here and then it will be turned into a picture question so this is how we will be working but for now i'm gonna just keep it to the welcome screen so you can see right here this is how you actually you know edit your page um so for now i'm just gonna leave it this way or maybe you know we can just simply go ahead and delete this page right here now this is the you know thanks for taking time out to make in your beachwear preferences so this is what they have added let's just say that they have this option of shorting so this actually kind of looks good but if i want to change the text on the button i can just simply go ahead and do that for example i'm gonna add continue after that they will click on continue and if i want to add the description which is the optional and i can actually add the description as well for example i can add this survey will help us serve you better so this is how you add the description for any of your uh you know questions and if you want to edit the question you will simply click right here and you will edit the question as well so these are not the question this is just something so this was just something you know random written so i'm gonna keep it this way after that i'm gonna move to my question so the first question is let's start by finding out how beach where occur are you are uh, so i'm gonna edit this question because this is not the question i want to ask let's just say i want to ask which social media account you are using so you can see right here i have added this question if i want to edit the button so i will just simply click on right here and i can add the button for example if i wanted the button to get them to my profile i can just simply you know add this button and then add the link to my social media or if i want to change the question group because you can see this is not the question type i was actually looking for so i'm just gonna click on right here so if this is not the question you are looking for you can just change the question type right here if i want to change the design of this question i can do that as well if i want to you know add a new theme or if i want to change the background image to any image that i want to i can just simply go ahead and do that if i want to change the color i can just simply change the colors as well i can actually add this one as well this one is for the premium i'm gonna you know go with the simple one the default theme that i selected so i'm just gonna select this one if i want to go to back to my theme that i had already selected i will just simply click on right here if i want to go to the logic i I can just go ahead and any time of my survey while creating my survey i can just go to logic right here and check out how my survey is actually looking and what kind of questions i have already asked or what are the questions that are missing so this is how you actually you know get an idea so i'm going back to the questions and let's move to the second part and you can see right here this type of opinion scale question and they're asking how often do you use beachwear products um so this is actually a good question so i'm going to keep it and you can see right here that they have added not at all from extremely often if i want to add zero i can do that as well if i want to change the numbers i can just simply click from one to maybe eight then it will be like this if i want to keep it from one to ten so on type form you can actually customize your survey the way you want and you can create these amazing professional surveys of your own that's the best thing about type form the surveys you see online they are actually created by type form so you can see this is the five label question and the text that is written is not at all often from extremely often i'm going to remove the word often because not at all to i would use all the time now this looks good this is the question that i wanted i customized it the way i wanted to this way you can actually you know go ahead to all of these different questions and you can customize them the way you want to if you want to add another choice you click on add choice and then you simply add a text so you can add any text you want to so once you have gone through all of your different questions 
options if you want to add a content you simply add right here and as i told you this option was also you know you get from here as well if you want to add a upload a file you want to add a website if you want to you know customize this page and add a rating question a statement a long text a picture choice you can go ahead and add whatever you want to so once you have gone through all of the questions you have selected the content you have selected the question you have edited all of the information you simply click on publish or you actually go to preview and you check out a preview on desktop and on mobile phone as well that how your survey actually looks you can see right here that this is how my survey is going to look and people will actually click on all of these next next and next and all of these questions will be you know in front of them and they will simply answer it so i'm good with the preview so i'm going to go ahead and go back so once i do that i will simply click on publish and i will be able to publish my survey if i go to share i can actually share my server link to my other platforms if i want to for example to my instagram or facebook and you know let people know that i have created a survey and once your survey is created you can share the link right here you can see this is the link for my survey that i just created i can copy the link or share it to any other platform as i want to once you're done with all of this you can actually go to the results as well and check out the results for your survey that you just created you can see right here that i can check out the results for my survey that i just created right here on typhoon so yeah guys this is how typhoon works it's super easy to use and you can create amazing surveys of your own now with typhoon i hope that i was a big help to you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel